Hello, I'm Graham McGeary. Welcome to our discussion tonight about relationships. And with me is Dee Dee. Welcome, Dee Dee. Thank you very much, Graham. Nice to be here. I'd like to um, open up the discussion about relationships with transgendered people. Now, we have a, a variety of people in various stages of transitioning. Now, I understand that you do not live full time yet. Yes, I do. Oh, you do <laughs> live full time? Yes, I do. Yes. Oh, congratulations. Did outing yourself as being trans have an impact on earlier relationships? My earlier relationships were pretty much over by the time I decided I was going to be full-time transgender, um, to be honest. Um, I was divorced. I had girlfriends who were fully aware of my transness, I, I guess we'd call it. And um, my daughters were sort of suspecting, but not sure, and still aren't sure, to be honest. So that's one little thing where I've got to work on that. <laughs> it's a, a work in progress. A work so. in progress, yes. So probably the, the step from there is that mm. what were the aspects of um, or how you went about, were you interested in finding a new relationship at that point or were you just more about exploring yourself? At that point, we're talking 10 years ago pretty much, from 2007 onwards, um, I was more interested in finding out who I really wanted to be, yeah, that's true actually. So the, the whole um, relationship thing wasn't necessarily of paramount importance at that time. I was still working on my own feelings, I guess. In terms of exploring yourself, what were the methods you used to The do internet. That? <laughs> the internet. <laughs> it's a very oh. helpful thing, the internet. Yeah. But um, in so much as um, finding a look and just feeling more like I needed to feel, if that makes sense. What did you do about, because in terms of um, being accepted for who you are, really you can only do that when you meet another person That's in true. real life as opposed to internet life. So what were the steps you put in place to do that? Very big ones. Uh, big steps. Such. It was a gradual process really, so I, I finally got my face together, my hair, my clothes, and the stuff. The, the physical appearance was the first thing I, I managed to to work on. And after that, um, yes, I was out looking for people to to be with. So, so sure. did you have any sort of preconceived idea about the type of relationship you might wish to enter? I knew I didn't want to get married again. That's um, a definite thing for me. So is that, that, that sort of that sense of being committed when you're not really sure? Uh, committed when you're not really sure. Well, I'm happy to be involved in a long-term, non-monogamous relationship with people, if that makes mm. any sense, because I, I am actually re in relationships like that at the, at the moment. But um, yeah, I couldn't be monogamous again, and I couldn't be um, married again. Wouldn't want to. The, the follow-on from that, I suppose, is the, were you intending to have a relationship with male or female? Yeah, that's the big thing for me. I, I've been trans since I was age five, and I was always dating females throughout my entire youth and young adulthood. And on the side, I was sort of seeing men too, and I always felt that was kind of root bad, you know? It was wrong, but it turns out it's not wrong at all. <laughs> so yes, I date guys. Mm. And because I'm who I am now, I feel much more comfortable with that. Mm. So, so much so that I don't date women yeah, anymore. So, <laughs> so, did, so did you sort of, in those early days of um, the last 10 years, of um, go to particular venues or particular um, private parties or anything like that? To, um, when was this? Well, within the last in the last ten years, I used to go to private parties. Yes, initially, because it was safe, and you know everybody there was of the like-minded, and um, you knew that there was going to be people there that weren't going to look at, look down on you, that sort of thing. I stopped going to those. To be honest, I, I started venturing out into the real world and doing real things with real. Real people. <laughs> well, that, that's, that's true because quite often at private parties, um, it, it is a very enclosed environment, and so everyone's there with a, their own little 
agendas, I suppose. The, did you have a, a you know, I mentioned about preconceived idea of a relationship and you've obviously overcome aspects of that between male, female and, mm. and, and that. Yes. Do you have a particular view of the type of person you're interested in? <sighs> Not really. I tend to judge people on how they present at the time, really. I don't really have a, mm. a type as such. I guess I don't really go for 20-year-olds anymore. <laughs> That's a bit out of my scale of acceptance, but yeah, you know, just nice people. I go for nice people. So really. it was that, that uh, beauty's uh, skin deep, but the, the real depth of beauty is uh, oh, the person's Beauty mind. helps, doesn't it, of course. <laughs> it does, you know, of course. We all try and <laughs> do that. But yeah, you're right though. It's, it's the person within rather than physical appearance, really. So, you know, to, to sort of um, maybe round out the, st um, the conversation today, what sort of advice would you give to yourself, a younger self, uh, about um, one coming out and the Im impact on relationships? I really wish I had done it 40 years ago. <laughs> Show my age now, but you can't go back. You can't really look back and, and do that because otherwise you the whole life you've lived with children and all the rest of your life experiences is negated. But uh, yeah. if I were to be able to do that, I don't know. Yes, I'd, I'd probably come out very much at a younger age. So it's sort of, sort of that. It's different now. I've got to just say quickly because everything's changed in the last 10 or 15 years. Prior to that, I didn't even know that trans existed. I didn't barely knew that gay people existed or anything like this, you know. And it's all come because of the internet. So. It makes me feel personally that I'm not weird. Mm. <laughs> There's a lot of people just like me and a lot like you. And so uh, that, that's one of the benefits also of the uh, change to the anti-discrimination laws Absolutely. in Victoria in 2000, which has sort of given the impetus to be able to be more open about it. So Dee Dee, thank you very much for um, participating in this short conversation about relationships. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Greer McGeary.